My grandmother has told me in 1958, we have done our work. It will be your turn to stand up on state. To direct your people. Because people are coming to take your land away or destroy it. They will come. Every country in the world wants to go and work with a, a country like British Columbia that has one of the best natural, biggest natural gas resources anywhere in the world, proven resources. And anybody wants to come to a country like this one where they know we will not play politics with energy. That's an essential part of everybody's portfolio. And that's why Indian oil is making such a big bet on the Petronas project. So where are we at with that project? $36 billion potential investment waiting to get to final investment decision. We've come to terms with Petronas. We, we popped open the bottles of champagne after months and months and months of, of negotiating the total economic, uh, the economic environment that we would set for Petronas. What would their environmental compliance costs look like? How do we make up the royalty curve? What will the task, taxes, total tax take be? All of those elements are done. And Petronas has said that they are absolutely satisfied that British Columbia is going to be a great place to do business. They are not test drilling, they are drilling to build. The magnitude of pylons that are going to be going in for a bank alone are going to be 500 pylons, steel pylons going into the ground. And, you know, four banks is not going to survive and neither is the salmon. You know, it's going to be gone overnight. What we have here today could be gone by next spring. Now they're going to spend a little more time trying to get a better deal from their suppliers, and that certainly makes sense. But we think that they will. And now that they're done with us, when they're done with their suppliers, we think that we'll see a final investment decision sometime this year. Christy Clark, this is our territory. This is not Crown land. This is unceded territory. The project that you presented to us here was voted 100% no. So what are you still doing here? Why do you still have your drillers out here? Stop destroying our land. They have to kill us to get us off this island. They gotta kill me to get me off the island. I'll be right beside you. Fucking right, you brother.
Flora Banks is a nursery site for the approximate 300 million juvenile salmon that come out and use Flora Banks as a, a sanctuary. Um, it, it's a food basket, you know, it's, it's Mother Nature's very own food basket that has been given since the dawn of time and, you know, um, to take to take that away, you're going to take away the identity of the Skeena River as it is, you know, the name it was given by the Jimshian people. The data indicate that what happens in this area, this small area, could have enormous consequences. And if the project is built, it'll be ignoring science, and it'll be ignoring the risks to fish and the risks to people. You know, salmon is something that was given to us from the last ice age, we were going through a starvation period, there was no food. Uh, the animal kingdom came together, they wanted us to have a fighting chance to live. So Ermine gave us salmon, and the salmon gave us his life and said that he will feed us. And that's something that we've been living off of for, I'm guessing about 10 to 12,000 years. The juvenile salmon come down from our neighbors, comes down from the fresh water, and comes into this very sacred area. And it stays there anywhere up to a month. And this is where, you know, they start growing and going out to the different nations, the Nishka, the Haida, the Zimshian. And um, so it, it, it holds all of our, our fishing stock, our future fishing stock. So we're always told, you know, you be very careful when you go into that area. I'm out here doing this so my kids have salmon to eat for the years to come, like my, my grandfathers did for us, you know. This is unceded territory. I'm here I'm really for this. I want, I want my children to do this. I want them to grow up how I grew up. Eat what I eat. We've been here just over a hundred days now. And we are occupying our island. We are living off the land. It's not like I want to claim this land so that I'll have riches or whatever. I have all the riches right now. I have the riches with the air I breathe, the water I drink, the beautiful food, the traditional food, the food from the sea, the food from the land. That's the food I eat. I am rich. Where's your samples that you stole from our sea? Right now you're just Where are the samples? Don't have any reason to be Did you get permission from Smoigit Yahan to be in that territory to conduct your no, sampling? No, you didn't. Do these people need to be concerned for the person's No, they now? don't. You need to just leave No, they no, don't. Having a conversation here. No, they don't. There's just because I have to yell because that's the only way go. you got to get through to you guys. There's the dock. Go. Take your people with you and go. So if Stantec's such a reputable company, why are you guys wearing face masks then? Just during my day in Germany when I was teaching art, I was just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I, I wished I could just be here. And then, because Donnie is a, is a hereditary chief, and for a hereditary chief in this day and age to just, especially from Simpson, to just walk forward and take a stand like that and say, you know, this is part of our land, like don't do this, and protect it. He's not fighting anybody, he's protecting it. It's like a legend 
It's an Adao, a living Adao right now. And I'm so glad to be a part of it because you have so many legends throughout history. This is going to be one of them. And it's happening right now. My father's name, Yahan, goes back thousands of years. Many Samoygas held his name. And having a voice like my dad, Yahan, is probably the most strongest voice that people can listen to read about now. Samoygid Yahan from the Gitwood Yachts tribe. My uh, Western name is Donald Gregory Wesley. My tribe comprises out of about 600 members. I'm here to reclaim Lilo Island. We were there approximately 6,800 years ago. And today, uh, Canada, you know, we have never surrendered this river. We have never surrendered uh, any of the land of the occupation of the nine tribes. We don't have a treaty. We didn't give our land away. We didn't sell our land. Um, and it's important for people to know this is who we are. You know, we belong here and this is our way of life. This is who we are and it's been taken away from us. You know, Canada was made on genocide. Canada was not made on, you know, um, by them showing up. It was made by, you know, taking people out. You know, they, they seen us, we were a problem, but we never gave in to nothing yet. You know, we've still never given after all this time, you know, through all the epidemics, you know, and the residential schools, the Indian day schools, you know, the, the law, you know, the jails are made up of all First Nations people. It's staggering how many of us in um, the, the system, man, it's, you know, is, is that right? I don't think that's right, you know. We're not protesters. We are uh, the members and the guests of the Gitwil Gats tribe, and we're practicing our Aboriginal rights and title, and we do have the right to do that, and we do have the right to harvest our traditional foods here. This is probably the most important fight we've ever had to fight. You know, it's, it's scary because of um, it's a David and Goliath kind of thing, right? You know, and uh, we're fighting a big corporate company here. They they got way more money than I got. I know that for a fact. But hey, we do what we got to do. We know what we have over them. We have rights and title, and we're going to use it to the utmost. And I'm pretty sure we'll win. There's mass destruction going on to the banks of Agnew and Flora Bank. We know that for a fact. It's been going on for almost 80 plus days or more, 24 hours a day with four drill boats. Lilo Island itself, um, they've ribboned it off. At some point, they're gonna clear cut Lilo Island. Lilo Island has 400 CMTs, which are culturally modified trees. These are the marks of our ancestors. We've confronted these people, you know, time and time again, and um, with the aid of the RCMP, you know, guiding them out and making sure that they're not uh, disturbed in what they're doing. Um, you know, I asked them, I said, where's, where's my right? When I asked them one day, I said, where's my right? I said, why is my right not protected? I said, why do those people come in? I said, and take something that, you know, is not theirs. They think we're radicals. Them coming in here doing their work with no permits, not showing us any permits, they're the radicals. They're the extremists. They're the terrorists. They're the ones that should be brought down. Our warriors are amazing. 
they get up every single day, they get into their boats and they head out there to try to stop the, the Quin Delta. And they're amazing warriors because they were taught the traditional way and they are connected to that land. They understand what's at stake. So when they're out there telling them to get off the traditional territory, they're doing it with conviction and they're doing it on behalf of the Gidwogyats tribe. Quinn Delta, Quinn Delta. This is the Lilu Express, Lilu Express, Lilu Express. If you are trespassing in Gilgilgilg's waters, please vacate the premises immediately. This is them not stopping. Now we're going to make them stop. You on your way? It's always the chief of this territory. Either we're just gonna let this happen. Either we're gonna let you do all this illegal work. This water is our territory. You have no right to be on this water. You have no right to be on Floor Bank. Where do you think your salmon comes from? Hey! Sell out! <laughs> Occupying their landing zone, they're, they're dead in the water over there just drifting. You're not gonna let them into the 50 meter safety zone. This is our fucking safety zone. <laughs> this is part of fucking Lilo Island, Flora Banks, man. Of course, we're not gonna let them out here. Fucking any day of the week. They just don't get it. They, they don't get it. We're not fucking going nowhere. Sorry for the swing. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff on the island to keep helicopters and drillers that, geotech drillers that want to come onto the island and start borehole testing. We, we have a lot of spikes put on this island. So if they think they're going to come on and start clear cutting our island, they have another thing coming. Stopping them from doing work today. Come right in front of our camp, thinking that we're not gonna do anything. How many times we warned them? Hamsum is the sleeping giant, the beginning of time, the beginning of, of man, the beginning of the light in the world. When the sleeping giant sits up, that's when the world is going to end. People call the Sinchan Nation the sleeping giant. There's, there's thousands of us. And what if we all sit up and fight for our land and the world as we know it will end and we won't be ruled on our own territory the way we are? My vision for the island would be for the children. I would like to see longhouses going up on this island so we could start feasting back the way we used to do it. And 
I want kids to learn the old ways of the way we used to live. A place where we can um, learn how to weave, smoke fish, do all our traditional stuff. Uh, I would like to see it go on forever. I always say this land belongs to us. This is our land. I mean, look at all the abundance of cedar we have. The CMTs that we have on this island are sacred to us. You know, that's, that's, that just proves that our ancestors were here living off of this land. That's one of the main reasons, you know, we're, we're, we know for a fact that our ancestors would be standing beside us while we are doing this. You know, they might have reacted a little different, they might have had different tools back then, but you know what, it's still the same battle. We're modern day warriors. It's the people, you know, it's the people that fight for the, the preservation of what we all believe in, you know, and it's, it's humanity, you know, it's a human issue. It's, it's about the fish, but it's also about us, you know, um, it goes hand in hand, you know, if we don't have what's in the water, we don't have what's on the land, we, we're not going to have nothing at the end of the day if we don't have those two components. It, it saddens me to think that we in British Columbia may not have salmon. We may not be known for salmon. Our people may not be out in those smokehouses doing the salmon. You know, that to me is a very scary thought and I can't even imagine having to tell my grandchildren, having to share with them what salmon was because they don't have it anymore and having to say to them, this is what salmon meant to me. This is what, this is what we used to do with my grandmother. I can't imagine having a life like that and I hope that everybody else out there starts thinking about what would Canada, what would BC be without salmon? Because that's where we're going. If we don't stop this, it can't be just five of us anymore. The rest of British Columbia has to come, the rest of Canada has to come because if they don't, we're not going to have any more salmon and I can't tell those stories to my grandchildren. We came up here to witness the declaration, which is a very critical part of claiming your jurisdiction and your ownership and sending that signal out to the provincial government, to Petronas. To our core belief that we are following our laws we are listening to the teachings of our elders and we are standing up for our rights and title that we are defending the sacred title honors for all humanity. What can defeat us is to see in each other the enemy. When the enemies are the forces seeking to destroy the places that we all depend on. Lilu is clearly such a place. We live off the land. We live off Mother Nature. And it's so way it's Shimlacha. Not Canada. Shamoy it's Shimlacha. He's the one that gave us this land, not Canada. Not Canada.